Hello, 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 hello. Bitches in New York. Eh. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Is that what you're waiting to do? Like, can you actually, got, people got real things to do around here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing my main favorite. I'm filming it in a different location today. I'm actually in New York. I'm here like literally for a few days and I really want to get my favorites out. So I thought it's fun. Let's do my favorites in New York, my favorite city in the world. But this might be the month that I've had like lots and lots of favorites and products that I really, really love and I'm excited to like keep using. So let's get started because I do have a lot to talk about. And there's a lot of highlights I should mention actually. So let's talk about, first of all, this is the Smashbox Times Katie Holmes. Why do I always say Times? Smashbox Plus Katie Holmes Spotlight Palette. Anytime that like, YouTubers collaborate with brands and they make like special packaging, I always just keep it in the packaging because I think it's nice and it's got like a story in the back. I really am enjoying it, the gold one. The one in the middle is a really, really nice shade. It is definitely more of a yellow gold and I definitely don't really gravitate towards those kind of shades, but I do really like it. So the one in the middle is called Crank It Up, which is the gold. And then the one, this one is called Turn It On. And this is my favorite shade from this palette. It's so gorgeous. And when you actually set it, when your whole face is done, and you have all your makeup on, then it just looks so, 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 so gorgeous and when you put like a mist on it just gives it that extra like mm. and I just want to mention it because I feel like a lot of people collaborate and make palettes that are suited to one skin tone I like that she made the pearl one and then she made the gold one because I do think that this is really really suited to darker skin tones some more highlights some more products from Tarte I've been trying a lot from Tarte lately because I don't really think I've given them a chance I always mention the fact that I don't really think they're diverse I don't really think that they cater to deeper skin tones but I'm like let me try you know products that might potentially actually work for me and I actually tried the Tarte's Pro Glow this I bought on QVC it's basically just the Tarte like Pro Glow palette they also have a palette which is just highlighters which I actually saw in Sephora yesterday and I was like should have got that instead because I'm not actually fond of the contour and bronzing shade because I think that this cream contour, whatever this is, is like the most weird consistency. And then this bronzing powder here is just, yeah, it's not for my skin range. It's not for my skin family. So we're not gonna do that. But the highlights, I have to like, they're super, super gorgeous. They just look so wet. And that's like the kind of highlights that I like. I definitely don't like that really like natural highlight. I like ones that are really like wet, really like metallic. So I've definitely been loving these. My favorite shade from this palette is actually Fire. The one next to it, Stunner, is really nice. It just like lighten up fire and sometimes just give it that metallic like so I wanted to shout this guy out I love that it's also got the two mirrors there it makes it very travel friendly I actually haven't even really used it on this trip but I have been enjoying this the month and I would recommend it to actually I would recommend that you guys get the four highlight palette thing because I mean if you have a deeper skin tone then I, would I wouldn't really recommend this palette I recommend the highlighters over the contour shades next up it's not the whole palette it's one thing from the palette it's actually this blush just here from Ofra you guys know I don't care too much for blushes I don't care to collect blushes I like to stick to the same blushes I just don't think there's something that you need to spend a lot of money on it's just me being a hater so this oh my god it doesn't have anything on it so this is a blush by the brand Ofra I think I got this in the Ipsy bag or yeah I got it's an ipsy bag my april ipsy bag i think it's called rendezvous it begins with r i will double check that and put it in the description box for you guys it's like a brownie kind of terracotta kind of like pink shade since i got this blush which was probably about three weeks ago it's the only blush that i've used for the past few weeks it's what i've got on now i just think it's neutral it works with every look every single look that i've done in the past three weeks like it's looked really nice with so just wanted to shout that out because you know when i find the blush that i like i think that that's a really monumentous moment for me so so i'm powders this is a face powder this is actually the becca multi tasking powder i actually grabbed this in the shade tan i've been using this for about three weeks as well i've really really been enjoying this i'll mention another powder just because i think they kind of do the same thing this is the cat von d brightening powder this is in the shade golden if you have a deeper complexion this is probably going to do wonders for you it's really nice and brightening but definitely has that yellow undertone so it's not like a white stark powder i would definitely recommend the both of them if i had to to choose I would say the Kat Von D one for two reasons first of all because the Kat Von D one is £17 this one is £27 just for the price alone I would say grab this one also because 
if I compare the shades for you guys, this one is a really nice shade, but it's definitely more of a deep yellow. It's definitely more of a darker one. It's like edging more towards a camel, whereas you can see this, I'm not gonna open it because it's probably ready to just pop out. This, you can see, it's a really just like light baby yellow. So if you do like your skin being highlighted, if you don't like your skin being that bright, then by all means get this one, but they're both amazing. And if you do like a bright base like me, this one. Another highlight, I feel like I have so, well, this is the last of the highlights actually this month. This may be the only video on YouTube that like this highlight has been mentioned like as a favourite because I just feel like so many people don't like it but I think I've really mastered the knack to this product. So this is the Kylie Jenner Press Illuminated Powder in the shade Chocolate Cherry. When these first came out, everybody was obsessed with them, we were all talking about them, we all wanted them, we all went on the website, don't lie, and we all tried to get our hands on them. At first, I was disappointed because it just was like, where's the pigment? Like it just wasn't there. Like she marketed them like these like glow from within like really like highlighters and she was like going on about the glow and things like that and I just didn't get that when I tried it but I figured out the knack to it and what you have to do unfortunately is kind of scrape the top layer off and obviously it's a $22 highlight so it's like who really wants to scrape the top layer off but when you do scrape it off guys it is the most beautiful highlight ever it's really funny because I thought that this highlight sucked but I found myself like when I'm wearing a highlight that's not as like bright and not as like melted I found myself like popping this on the top to make it look a bit more melted and metallic so that just shows that this is actually a generally good product I think people need to cut her a bit of slack because I feel that people think just because it's Kylie Jenner that she's like incapable of bringing out a good product. I'm telling you guys, this is a good product. And I've spoken favorably about Kylie products before and unfavorably about Kylie products before. If you do have a spare $22, <laughs> If you do have a $22 that you want to chuck on the floor, grab that highlight. It'll change your life. I wanted to mention a concealer. Yep, only one concealer this month. This is the Smash Spot and Better Fast. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. Now I actually went to a Smashbox event that was hosted by my friend Christina. She works at uh, Girls Talk London and they did an event with Mahina Makeup, who's a makeup artist, and she did like a makeup masterclass. She put this concealer on the model. Now the model had amazing skin, but she put this concealer on the model and it just looked so nice. It looked so flawless and literally everybody in the audience was just like, Bear in mind there were like 30 people there and we all were like need to get our hands on that concealer. I've also heard Jackie Aina I believe talk about this concealer so naturally I gravitate towards anything that she talks about. I will say it's not as pigmented as other concealers that I'm used to just purely because of the fact that I have the Tarte Shape Tape sitting there. I will compare them to. This one is very very pigmented. I think that's something that's really well known about this concealer. This one is definitely not as pigmented but when you blend it out it definitely doesn't look patchy. As soon as you powder it it just kind of fills up just kind of melts into the skin. It definitely doesn't look translucent or anything. It's not the most amazing concealer I've used. It's a really good concealer. It's not the most amazing. I think it's really just good to shout out products that work. It's really good to give credit where credit is due. And Smashbox did a really nice job on this. Some people don't like to buy like those cult like fan favorite products. Some people like to buy the products that are under the radar. So I think it's really good for me to mention the ones, the products that are not like as big on YouTube, I should say. Do you know Gigi when she throws the, the makeup behind her? I have four lip glosses to talk about. First of all, I'm going to talk about these two. These are the Bare Minerals glosses. I tried these glosses in my try on haul. I will link it above here. I got these as per Jaclyn Hill's recommendation, and I really, really, really have enjoyed these lip glosses. I know what you guys are thinking, you're probably thinking how do they compare to the Marc Jacobs glosses because I'm always always talking about my Marc Jacobs gloss. The Marc Jacobs gloss is still hands down my favourite. This definitely does compare however I would say that this is like 1% more sticky than the Marc Jacobs one. The Marc Jacobs one just glides on it literally feels like butter on your lips. These definitely do feel nice but they do have like a tiny bit of stick to them so that's why I would say that they don't trump the Marc Jacobs lip gloss for me. But but I have them in the shade Tantalize and in the shade Sugar. Every time I wear them, I mix them together. Sugar is like a really nice uh, bubblegum pink and then Tantalize is just a nude brown. See, I'm not as close to the camera as I wish I was, but I hope you guys can see that. Yeah. I wanted to shout these guys out. Not only that, but they are 
17 pounds. You might check as ones are 22 pounds. So if you can overlook that 1% of stickiness that I'm talking about, then grab these because they are really, really good. Glosses, I would never have grabbed these glosses if I didn't want Jacqueline Hill so I feel like she put everybody onto these glosses. They're really, really good and they've been slept on. So I'm glad that so many people are talking about them now. Two more glosses. This is a recent favorite. It's actually, I'm wearing one of these on my lips now. This has been my favorite lip combo literally for the past week. Every time I've gone to work, every time I've gone anywhere, I literally would throw these two in my bag. First of all, I'm gonna mention the Buxom Full On Lip Cream. Now, the Buxom Full On Lip Creams are a OG product on YouTube. I remember watching Nicole Guerrero around three years ago chat about these Buxom lip glosses. I know Jacqueline Hill loves them, Kathleen Lights as well. Up until a while ago, they were only available in Sephora. Now they are available in Debenhams in the UK, so you can grab them in the UK. So that's what I decided to do. I got it in the shade Bellini. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips now, if you guys can see. It's definitely a tiny bit more sheer, and it, you definitely do have to build it up. But guys, the color is just stunning. If I can show you in the bottle, it's a really, 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 really nice stunning shade. It's got like a tiny bit of a brown undertone, but it's somewhat like corally and pinky and peachy, and on deeper skin tone, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Another thing I love is that it has like this really minty, refreshing like feel to it, which really makes you feel like your lips are plump, and really makes you feel like you have big lips. So I'm all about about that. Last gloss, last lip product, and then there's some others. This is the Coco by Kylie Cosmetics gloss. This is one of the glosses that she designed, not in the second launch, which will probably be out by the time this video is out. It's in the first launch. When I first saw that she came up with the collection, I like wasn't really checking for it, to be honest. It just looked like more pinks. But to be honest, I have to give credit to Coco. Coco? To be honest, I have to give more credit to Chloe because her collaboration with Kylie Cosmetics is at least a bit more original than Kim's. Like, four nudes like that's just not yeah not happening I was on the website and I don't even know how I got to the page of the lip glosses but I saw Dan Gina and I saw like a swatch of it on Chloe's lips and I just thought oh my god let me grab this because I'm all about lip glosses and I'm all about glittery lips Dan Gina is like the gloss that I've been waiting for all my life literally so this one just here yeah, it's like a straight up pink with like gold pigment in it. Literally every day, if I've got Bellini on, I've got Dam Gina on top. Except for today, I can't lie, I've just decided to go for Bellini because it is such a stunning color to me. Next up, we have two mascaras. I never usually mention mascaras because I just kind of stick to what I know. I'm not really picky when it comes to mascaras. I kind of stick to drugstore because I don't really think that you should spend a lot of money on mascaras which is kind of ironic because I have more of a higher end mascara here. This is the MAC Studio Sculpt Super Black Lash. I think I've mentioned this in the favorites a few months ago. I wanted to re-mention it without, you know, I'm about re-mentioning, just to remind you guys, still like it. This is like a bottom lash mascara. If you guys can see, the wand is like not all the way around. It's literally just on the bottom there. It's been amazing in the last month to just help me like get like a group of my bottom lashes. I've been using it in combination with this mascara just here. This is the High Mighty Mascara. This one's actually from H&M. When I went on like a H&M beauty binge this one time, I actually picked up this mascara because I just needed like random mascara. So I picked up like three just to like have for day to day. I don't know if they've discontinued this because I can't find it on the website just in case you guys go look for it it's the high and mighty mascara the wand is nothing really special but i do kind of gravitate towards these more small ones because they do kind of get a grip of my lashes my top lashes are not really that long to be honest i always wear lash extensions anyway another re-shout out this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This is what I've been using for the past month. Not even really generally to set my makeup, but just kind of as like a finisher on top, you know, finish it off. Some people use this like before their makeup, but I use this after my makeup. It really just does a really good job of like melting all the powders. It really does a good job of just making your makeup look so flawless and so like not painted on. It just makes it look a bit more natural. It's what I've used today. It's what I've used for literally the past month. Another product from Kat Von D, because obviously I mentioned the powder before. This is the Lock It Foundation. It's what I'm actually wearing today. This foundation is no joke. It's super, I wouldn't even say it's super heavy duty, like, but literally Literally with like one pump you can cover your whole entire face. Yesterday before we went out I put two pumps on my palette and I was so pissed because I used like one and a half and it was just sitting there and I was like Ugh. I've learned my lesson and from now on I'm just gonna use a pump because literally a pump is enough to fill your whole entire face 
I've literally put on a pump today and I cannot see any blemishes, I can't see any darkness on my skin. Of course I've colour corrected as well. If you want something full coverage, if you want something that's going to last all day, looks flawless, it doesn't look over the top. I think a lot of people are scared of this foundation because they think it looks over the top but it does not at all, I promise you guys. This is a product which has been on the market for about 3-4 months but as you guys know, I like to really like have an opinion on things before I just go ahead and put them in the favourites video. This is the Colourpop Loki palette. Literally for the past month I have been loving these shadows. A lot of the time I don't really use the whole palette together. A lot of the times I might use this to brighten my under eye. I've actually got these two shades here which are called IOU and Crisscross. I've actually got those two to brighten like under my lower lash line. The amount of different looks you can create with this palette like it's just endless and I know it doesn't seem like it but you can really play around with this. It actually reminds me a lot of the Natasha Denona Sunset palette which I actually really really want to get so I might get it. Yeah. If you guys have tried it, let me know what you guys think about it, but this is a good alternative for me, at least I think. If you obviously do not want to spend $129 on a palette, maybe grab this. I think it's a really, 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 really good steal, and I think Colourpop have been killing it with their monochromatic collection. So, music favourites. You should bring it to this one's a re-entry for me, yeah? Because this song is about a year old, but they re-released it and put most stack on it, so... like a whore in church so those are my main favorites i know there are a lot and i feel like i talked so fast through that and those are my music favorites as well if you guys have made it this far why am i using this as a mic well i might as well if you guys have made it this far don't forget to subscribe leave me a like and drop me down a comment tell me what products you guys have been loving for the month of may don't forget to connect with me on social media thanks again for watching i hope you've enjoyed my main favorites from new york city there was nothing really different i should have really been on the streets of like times square getting like the hard hitting news like yeah not today maybe next time thank you guys again so much for watching bye peace out eight hey, out <laughs> <laughs> a little jump i hate that song so much